Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This is the first video in the final module of the KiCad course in Contextual Electronics. And it's the final one because we're getting to the point where we actually are using tools that manufacture boards uh, that are used you know, in the aiding of manufacturing boards. In this case, this is actually the tool that allows you to view the output files from, your lay from the layout program, which is the, the previous module. And this allows you to kind of double check your work and see, make sure that all of the design files look good on the way to the fab. So let's open up KiCad Launcher. You'll notice I have a different file already up and ready to go. This is actually a promotional board that I put together for the amp hour. And we're going to open up GURB view, which is the final tool here. Well, there's two other tools. These are, uh, this is used in the manufacturing or in the uh, generation of images for footprints and then this is a calculator tool. We'll go over those in separate videos. All right, so this looks pretty much similar to a uh, library tool or a, a layout tool. However, uh, really nothing will come up here until you load up files. So what this is, is so this is a Gerber viewer. This is viewing the output files from uh, PCB new, like I, I said previously. However, this doesn't mean you have to only view your own files. You can also pull in anyone's uh, files. The reason Gerbers have become so widely accepted is they're actually based on an old router format, so that's how they used to cut out boards and such, but the, it's just become a standard in the industry, and so the nice thing is that you can pull in anyone else's files and modify them if you need to, although editing Gerbers themselves is a little, little more difficult because you don't actually have access to the schematic and such. So let's load up the files here. I always store the Gerbers in a separate folder within the, the uh, project folder. And we'll select all of these so that you see that there's the .g, .lgr, and .fo, .fo being the one that uh, KiCad outputs. All right, and it is, uh, most of my boards end up being down in the lower right here. I believe this is based on the coordinate system of KiCad. So let's actually zoom in here. You see we have our normal grid. Uh, and let's go through some of the tools on the side here. So these are some of the standard tools we saw with the layout tool as well. So we have grid, we can turn into polar coordinates, we can switch between units, we can change our cursor. This one is actually allows you to change the outline or go into the outline mode for vias and, and through holes and such. Same thing for traces here. You can see as we zoom in, the traces are are there. This is the sketch mode for polygons. So if we zoom out, uh, this board actually does have some polygons on it. So if we switch that over to sketch mode, we see that those stop being filled in. This one actually is not going to work with this one, but uh, negative objects that are in the diagram, we can put those in ghost color. That actually doesn't work here. And then finally, of these, the uh, the actual de decode number. This refers to the actual uh, the tools that will be used in creation of the the final board. But you can actually see how how KiCad creates these. So if you go in, if you pull up the actual Gerber output file, you'll see this pink outer uh, outline trace. It'll be coded with D11, so that then the board house knows. All right, well each of these cuts will be used with a D11 bit in that case, and, and it refers back to uh, machine code that actually translates this into a, a finished product. Kind of cluttered though, uh, you can see as we zoom in, they actually get used for every single thing. Now some of these won't actually get uh, routed, they'll actually become silk screens. However, it's just a way to segment you know, the different types of traces on board. Oh, actually, one thing we forgot to do here. So we loaded up the Gerbers. These are all the copper and silk screen layers. What we also need to do is we need to load up the drill files. And you see here, actually, before we do that, you see here, this via is just looks like a copper blob. But if we load up the, the two drill files, in this case, a, a regular drill file and a non-plated through hole, NPTH, we see it oh, loads up on top of it see the same thing now there's a pink dot in the middle there let's turn off this view so this actually shows the drill where the plating will also happen all right going down the side here we also see we can change the view here for the, the layer mode so we can switch between 
the raw mode. This one is the stacked mode, which doesn't look much different. And then finally, the mode we were on, which is the uh, transparency mode. Finally, this is the toolbar for the layer, the layer toolbox on the right side, over to the right there. Across the bottom, this is pretty standard, just measurement layout here. Across the top, we can actually select each of the layers, and this uh, is not an active toolbar right now, but if we uh, switch between tools, I believe we can uh, switch out the tools here as well. All right. Going down the right side, uh, this actually, when it pulls in Gerber files, it doesn't actually list the layer name. So what ends up happening here is it just selects a, um, it just shows that yes, there is a layer uh, for each of these. So it goes up to seven layers here. That's based on how many layers we output and how many we ended up loading in from that initial Gerber load over here. So we can actually start turning these on and off. Uh, it's nice for you know just selecting the top layers or bottom layers. Um, we can see some of these are copper, some of these are um, some of these are solder mask relief. In this case, the white is the solder mask relief. Uh, pink being the actual board outline. And we also have uh, the ability, well, if we turn these all back on, we can also middle click here. And that actually allows us to change the color. So this being green, now we can switch it over to cyan. Uh, we can uh, change a whole lot of these different colors here, change them over to whatever is easier for you to see. You know, some people have trouble uh, with color blindness, so that, that can be an issue as well. Um, but we can also select it and then right click if we want to actually show or hide all of the different menus. The render menu over here actually is just a lot of the similar buttons over here. This decodes, turns that back on turn that on or off and then if we did have negative objects the ghosting uh, key over here you can also turn that on and off but this one does not have it so that is the Gerber tool uh, it's gr really great for reviewing I highly recommend before you send off the fab you uh, review all of your files including the drill files one thing that is a that we'll go over when we actually generate the drill, drill files and hopefully you've already seen that unit but the uh, Gerber files and especially the drill files in KiCad are a bit confusing because for some reason the default is that the mirror comes up and so if we have the actual copper and everything here sometimes you see the drill files up here and you'll see these huge huge differences because it gets mirrored across the x-axis for some reason not really sure why but uh, it's just something to watch out for Gerber Gerber view is a great way to review that before sending it off to your favorite uh, board manufacturer just so you don't uh, have time delays and have problems with getting your board made. All right, so the rest of the uh, final module will also be about uh, a little bit more about Gerber's but also some of the other tools and other ways to get your board off to manufacturing. Thanks for watching.